Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. And you know, I'm starting to feel a bit happier. Life's taking a, a better turn, shall we say. The old Raggy will be coming back. And so he should as well. So today I'm reviewing this fella, Zubra. God knows if that's how you pronounce it, I do apologise. And it says here, Zubra beer is a Polish lager brewed by the Kompania Piwowska SA. Yeah, I probably said it wrong. It was formerly known as Dolgidi, the name of the brewery in the Bialastic, Bialastic district of Dolgida where it was produced. And it's a six percenter. Get in. So yeah, good mate of mine, Keith. He um can't actually see the percentage. And obviously it's in Polish. He's actually now um raiding the like the Polish shops and you know, different nationality shops for beers because it's a little resource full of different beers he's not had before. So fair play. And he got me these for free as well, so bless him. Hey, free is good. That's my motto in life. So, golden pour, obviously, being a lager, good look carbonation and that, and lacing, nice big frothy white head. <sighs> Isn't that the stuff? So, I've got my new beer haul, 20 odd bottles, I've got to Instagram it later, and then to try and slot it all on this beer wall. It may be the, the case that I get rid of some more of these chuffing glasses because uh, a lot of them I'm not going to use. Might keep the big two pinter because uh, when I'm feeling thirsty, that might come in handy. Have to make some beer first though. Got future plans for um, uh, brewing. I've got a load of rhubarb, I need to get it brewing. So um, I want to trip up to the new Marks and Spencers at Giltbrook, a bigger Marks and Spencers, which is an interesting uh, thing that they're doing. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that. And then if I don't get anything from there, I'm gonna go and get a couple of beer kits, I think. And, uh, brew some beer, but not play around too much, but introduce flavor, but leave the sugar content as is. Or try to anyway. Oh, that's got a nice taste to it. So, Zubra. What does Zubra mean? Noun, Zubra. Plural, Zubs. Zubras. One of several species of a European bison or rocks, which were unclearly de delineated in the 1800s, when this, was sense, when this sense was in use. From the 1820s onwards, quotations, the wisest. Yeah, I don't mean shit, I don't. You know. So it's available in Asda. Zubra. Yeah. Nice sweetness to it. Let's see what it comes up with. Comes up in a four pack at Asda for £5.98. So there you go. It's available in the big stores. I can't remember ever seeing it. Brewed since 1768 and it says nothing. It doesn't give you any hints whatsoever. A bit boring. See what um, Amazon have to say. So, a light sweetish aroma on the nose. Obviously malt, but a sweetish. One of my lucky mates. A uh, good friend to the channel. Good friend overall. Um... He's over in Mallorca, having a holiday. His Barbados holiday got cancelled. His, uh, well, it's got cancelled. His America holiday got cancelled. So he got there in the end. And, you know, it's, it's interesting that it's got um, good history. A review on um, Amazon says, This is good gear. 
6% and goes down easy. Tastes great, no nasty hangover. Knocks the socks off other well-known brands. The Poles know their game when it comes to lager. Fair play. And let's be fair. With all beers and that, it's great to try something new that you've never had before. Um, you know, explore your senses when you go abroad. You know, when I go abroad, I'm trying everything. And uh, hopefully we'll be going abroad in October, but sometime. But um, if not, then, you know, we'll have to cancel it for another time. As it is, it's still, what, August, September, October, still three months away. And as we know, it's been a strange three months before us. So as we get closer, things hopefully should get better. Um, my mate on the plane, all got the face masks on. They do look weird, don't they? I, mean, I know it's a good thing to wear them, but they do look weird. When people are talking to them, it's like... <laughs> and it's... <laughs> what can I do? You're lit, really. You've stuffed it. But, uh, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a strange one. So, nice little drink. Definitely got a more interesting taste than your um, standard lager. It's got a little twang, sweet twang in the background. Very interesting. Doesn't taste like any of the standard premium lagers out there. Totally different and very bloody interesting at that. And obviously being 6%, it's, um, we're taking a trip down Raggy Street. Well, not, we're not in Raggy Avenue, but we're, we're going down Raggy Street. Raggy Avenue, that's, that's the place to be. And if we get to the Raggy Arse, then woof, that's great. Oh. So if you've watched this over the last few months, uh, you'll have noticed I've had some quite down days. And uh, it's looking like there's the horizon's changing. It's certainly changing for me in a work-related way. Um, um, dare I say it, the people who were in charge before, we didn't really see anything of them. Once a month, once a week, once a four and a half, once a month, you'd see a... a, a an on-site manager. Now, daily, going to be there all day, uh, three, four days a week, and and then not only that, but another manager as well at the same time popping in. Um, uh, a much stricter re regime. Go checking your work, make sure you're doing your work, and I have no issues with any of that, because. Uh, you know, you're there to work anyway. So, and it just validates that somebody's watching what I'm doing and is happy, happy with my work. And that for me is, is all, all that it's about. A very interesting uh, period ahead. Am I doing the right thing by waiting? And, you know, seeing if it, if it, if it gets better? You never know. You never know in life with jobs and, and the future. I mean, it got to the stage where I was contemplating going self-employed, and uh, that's not good, not easy in this day and age. And like with jobs these days, every job that's um, advertised out there, every job's receiving massive amount of people. People are desperate to get work, obviously. Oh, that's the wife going in the octave. Um, yeah, people are desperate to get jobs to survive, you know and uh, do whatever you can to work and it's strange but um, I've been going to this workplace a year and uh, in Nottingham we've got an area called Forest Road 
and uh, we call it Totty Avenue. Totty Avenue. I'm not going to sing. But yeah, you know, over the years, seen some stuff over the years. Jesus Christ. And uh, we were driving around one day, uh, I think we were going over to the forest. And uh, there was this uh, a prostitute there. And as we're driving by, we're going slow because we've got a load of rubbish on the back. And it can't go too fast because it blows off. The next minute, she's like this. Okay, now. <laughs> So, at that age, you know, I was at that age where I thought, yeah, let's go around the, <laughs> around the block. <laughs> and obviously, we're not curve crawlers, but, uh, you know, at, you're, you're at an age where, fucking hell, you see that, and it's, uh, oh dear. I mean, I've been opening up the gates at the Arboretum one day. I was opening up the gates and uh, driving around the inside as well. No, on the, no, I was on the outside, sorry, opening the gates up. And the Arboretum is, is a look, well, was a lovely park in Nottingham city centre. You go in there now, you have to watch out for being mugged. Uh, but, you know, and anyway, I'm unlocking the gates on the outside. All of a sudden, I've seen this prostitute, and I thought, oh, fuck's sakes. So I unlock the gate, next minute, she turns around to, <laughs> turns around to me, but somebody else was there just walking past. Uh, Are you looking for business? And that, <laughs> the bloke says, what? <laughs> and I, I, knew what she, I knew what she was on with, so I just drove off. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, been going to this workplace a year, seen no prostitutes at all in that area. It, it died down. Police have been ever so vigilant, anyway. And, uh, yeah, I'm going into work, and I've seen three over the last few weeks. And so, obviously, you know, some people are so desperate that, you know, they're letting vile men, you know, um, doing sex acts for them, and it's so sad, you know, when anybody in life is so desperate that they are forced into doing something so degrading, I mean, sometimes desperate, you know, desperation gets to all of us, you know, no one in life's perfect, you know, the best of us look at where, you know, for me, I analyse myself every day. And I look, I, look, I look at myself and think, are you being an arsehole? Or, you know, and there's things that I, I, I listen to, I look at myself and think, you know, are you a good person? And I am a good person, you know. But um, it's the way to be, for me, for for people, the way to be is to please yourself. If you do, if you talk to somebody in a way that you wouldn't want to be spoken to yourself, then don't do it. You know, treat everyone like you would want to be treated. You, I mean, in life and in work especially. Um, in my last job. You know, I was never spoken to in a way, uh, they know. Oh, hot tub's gone off. I wonder if the filter needs changing. Yeah, in life, um, you know, the way you treat people, it all comes back to you in the end. Which is why I, when I go to work, do my work be the best person I am and then get home because you know you don't want it you go to work to earn a living and uh, try and enjoy yourself and all that anyway we're starting to yak 40 minutes in Jesus Christ I ain't got that much charge either so I need to crack on well I've got to say for a log obviously it's not a craft log um, I put my first time tasting Zubra, Zubra, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, absolute belting, that's 6%, it's nice. It's uh, definitely a very good, nice strength lager. Not a 4% rubbish, we don't want none of that, we want some decent stuff. £6 at Asda, £1.50 a can, I'd pay that. 
you know, I think that's a good price. Six percent, it's not, you know, not Foster's. And it's good taste as well. So if you've never tasted this, and you like your lagers, but you want to try something different, I would definitely jump on the bandwagon. I'm loving that twang in the back end. Really nice. Great taste. I can't pick out the flavours, I've got to be honest. You know, for me it's like malt, like, you know, lager flavours. I can't get the, you know, the really complex flavours that are there. And I'm not, I'm not going down the hay and grass route. Oh, I can taste hay, grass. But what I can say is absolutely immense uh, log. That's bloody hit me. I'm feeling it. Really feeling it. Oof. Golden pour. Nice head. Um, good strength, 6%. Is it 6%? Everyone else says this. I can't see the bloody percentage. And to be honest, in this in this light, I can't see nothing at all. But yeah. So normally, Thai ski is my Polish lager of choice. I would say this is better. That's the daughter. I'll bring her back in a minute. So out of five, then what a cracker of a bit of lager. 4.45 out of 5. Beautiful. Made my day. Oh. And that's it for this beer review. Uh, lager review, rather. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, better times are coming. Not only for me, but for all of us. Hopefully. You never know. Cheers. See you soon. Thank you.